Hey guys, so this is the first Look and Logic video that's going to be on the channel. Originally it was going to be a demo video, that didn't work since my battery um, kind of ran out at the time. So this is the new trial deck which is Bullet Logic. I like the look of this one because mm, it's got guns, that sounds a bit weird, but it's got guns in it and it's blue, so I'm going to give it a go. And I've got two packs working with this one as well. This was my bargain. I think this is one of the better bargains I got of the day. So. Let's crack this open. Be aware I've had like two games of Lock and Logic since it's come out a few months ago. So I'm not sure of all the effects and what everything can do. I know of the card types at least, which is a good thing. So you got, oh, more tape. There's the deck. And the usual bushy row thing where they show you the play mat. They did have a Lock and Logic play mat today which I really would have liked but that didn't work but I couldn't get one because it was you had to buy four booster boxes to get it and I just don't have the money for four booster boxes of Look and Logic so it looks like you get one of the level four so this looks quite cool her name she's Mana so she's the car that's on the box and she's got Look Drive, Pay 3, this member gains 2,000 power and continuous. During this member's battle, if its battle opponent is on an adjacent circle to it, it gains Soul. Is that Soul? It's Aura, sorry. I'm thinking Vanguard all of a sudden. It's Aura until the end of turn. So that's pretty cool. So she looks really nice. So it's one, two, three, four of this one, which is Yukari. Sorry if I butcher some of the names. I haven't even watched the anime for this yet and I really want to. If you have one or more destroyed gates on the circle that this member is on, this member gets 2,000 power. So that's really cool. And look, drive three, draw a card, this member gains 4,000 power until the end of turn. So that's really cool again. So four of those. Uh, two of another version of Yukari. So she's got an auto when this member enters the field, look at the top card of your deck. So you just look at it, but her look drive makes up for it. So pay three, draw a card, choose an opponent's member, and if it and it gets minus 2000 power until end of turn. So that's really cool. So I don't know if this is all just, so this looks like it's blue and red. So four. So, this is still y Yukuri, Yukuri. Uh, rest this member, choose one of your other members and it gets a thousand power until end of turn. That's not bad um, if you can't attack with her, so you might as well just rest her. That's quite cool. So a little bit of power gain. Oh, this thing's adorable. Qu Quetzi. One, two, three, four of him. And all of your opponent's members on an adjacent circle to this get minus. So there's, oh, I like this. I like that one. Oh, and there's the other mana. So it looks like you actually get two of those. So it might be like the Vanguard thing where she's at the back or you could have got this signed. That's pretty cool. I like that. So at least you get two. So moving on. Another mana. When... An Astro Staff is placed on the battle zone during this member's battle. Draw a card and discard a card from your hand. Okay, so you can fill up your hand with things you need. That's quite good. And look, drive three, pay three. This member gets five days in power until the end of turn. Then if you have three or more blue cards in your level zone, draw a card. So that's good. So blue looks like it's very much about leveling and you get four of those. Not leveling, uh, drawing. So it looks like the red's going to be to give you power to minus your uh, opponent's power and then your blue's to refresh your hand, so that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's a mono Yukari deck, so that's pretty cool as well. Uh, continuous, this member's battle, during this member's battle, if this battle opponent is on an adjacent circle to it, it gains 2,000. So it becomes a 10,000, that's pretty cool. And Pay three, this member gets aura and 
At the beginning of the end battle step that this member attacked, choose a card in your level zone and stand it. Oh, that's pretty good. So that helps you set up for your uh, next turn, uh, for your opponent's turn, so you can try and battle them. That's really cool. I like that one. And there's two of those. These are really cute. I really do like these. These look. This artwork's actually my favourite so far. When this member destroys an opponent's gate on an adjacent circle, draw a card and discard a card. So it looks like everything has to be adjacent for this deck. So that's okay. I don't mind that. Draw a card, choose one of your other members, and it gets a thousand power until end of turn. So it's not the best luck drive, but it's an okay one. So, and she's since she's only a, a level two, kind of makes sense. So here's some vanillas that we've got, and we've got four vanillas. Oh, I've not seen anything like this before. So this is interesting. So auto when this loses a battle with while defending, choose a tetra heaven card in your level zone and stand it. Ah, oh, so blue is also very de defensive in this, so it looks like you focus on drawing and being defensive. That's really good. That's the type of build I like at the moment in Vanguard. So I'm really glad I've picked this up now. When this member enters your field, choose one of your opponent's members in the front row with no soul, and you may return it to your opponent's hand. That's cool. So there's two of those. I think I might need more of those. That's really cool. I like that. And here are some more vanillas. I think the vanillas are just mainly used to transunion. So, like I said, I can't say too much about this game just because I've only played it twice. And they were both demos, I think, because the one guy didn't quite teach me enough and then someone else taught me more in depth. So, I have yet to play a real game. So this, so this is Artemis. So this is actually a character we've not seen before other than the vanilla. So this is different. When this member enters your field, choose one of your mana and it gains a thousand power until end of turn. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. And she has the vanguard ability. When this member enters your field, choose one of your opponent's members in the front row with no soul and you may return it to the hand. So this is very much bouncing your opponent's stuff to the hand. That is pretty cool. But they have to have no soul, so they can't be a transunion thing. That's not too much of an issue, I don't think. I mean, it's a good early game, so you could possibly rush them, but because you can't have many attacks, you can't do a lot, so it's iffy, I think, that strategy. So this is a tactics card, so we're finally reaching these. So when this tactics is placed in your battle zone, you may pay the cost, which is of one. If you do, your member in battle gets two aura until end of battle. Then if that member is a Tetra Heaven, which I think all of this is, it gains an additional one limit and put the top card of your deck on your battle zone face up. So that's pretty cool. So you get the extra limit as well. You get two of that one. So that's nice. And here is another tactic. I'm not sure like what the ratios are meant to be in these decks. So auto pay one. When this card's placed on your battle zone area from your hand, you may pay the cost. If you do. Your member in battle gains 5,000 power and plus one limit until end of battle and put the top card into the battle zone. That's cool. So there's two. The other one's stronger, I think, but that's not too bad. And then we've got into a couple of the paradox ones. So I can see slight foiling on some of the cards, but not a lot. So all of your Tetra Heaven members get plus one soul, or uh, aura rather. I'm still thinking like Forest Watch at the moment and Vanguard. When this paradox is placed in your battle zone, your Tetra Heaven member in battle gains 2,000 power until end of turn. So that's not bad. So, oh, that's really there. One, two, three, four of those. Here's another one. This reminds me a little bit of uh, Gungao from Sword Art, and I like that one. So this is another one this looks more like a generic one that i've seen before from the demo deck that i have so all of your members gain plus one aura and you get four of that one as well so i think there's something like you have to run eight paradoxes i think i don't know 
So then we get the gates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Ten gates. Okay, that sounds about right. I'm not sure. But I've come across a few gates and I've seen like level four gates which are really good and just stop the battle phases which have turned games around for people. So this is interesting. So when this is destroyed, put the top car top three cards from your deck into stock. So there's two of those and that's a level one gate. When this gate is destroyed, put the top three cards into stock. I think that's generic for all of them, but this one lets you draw a card. So you always put the stock, the uh, three cards from the top of the deck into stock. But then the other ones get the additional power. So the higher up you go, you seem to get better at additional powers. For example, this one is choose a member in your drop zone and return it to your hand. So I like this one. So this would be good um, in this sort of deck. So I like this. So then, okay, so this one is if you have four or more destroyed gates, choose all of your opponent's members and rest them. So this is what I was on about. I've seen this quite a lot. So I like that you get these in the trial deck, to be fair. That's really cool. And then this is a, a five. I've not seen a five yet, so that's cool as well. And um, then if you, so if you have four more destroyed gates, choose a level four or less member in your drop zone and move it. Is it moving? It's mobilise it without paying the cost. So you so you can move it for free. And you, so you get two of each gate, that's really cool. Um, I'm guessing the reason this one was more in the deck is because you can get them signed. I've seen some people have them. So that's really... So this is really interesting. I like how this looks like it plays defensively and aggressively as well. So that was the trial deck. Let's just get straight into the packs as well. So... You have to bear with me. If I pull something good, I'm not going to know. <laughs> oh, Yukari. Is she in the trial deck? It's going to be a good question. I'll have to go back and look. So when this member attacks, if you have four or more cards in your level so this member gains one limit until end of battle. That's good for a, a one. I think so, anyway, because she gets a limit, so she puts a limit up to one. So when this member loses a battle while defending, choose a... I don't know what that word is, Yoshik Chika in your drop zone and you may put it into your level zone. If you do, choose a face up card in your level zone and put it into your drop zone. So a level switcher, kind of like green in a um, voice, that's cool. Well, this is a guy. That's the first male I've seen. Ah, cool. So when this member loses a battle while defending, choose a Tetra Heaven card in your level zone and stand it. So this is green, so I don't know if this goes with the trial deck. So green might be another version of Tetra Heaven. And he's got a Vanguard ability. When this member enters your field, choose an opponent's member with 4,000 or less power and you may return the chosen member and this member into stock. That's cool. So even though you're building up your own stock, you're getting rid of your opponent's stuff. Oh, this is interesting. So this is a four. What rarity is this? I don't know what rarity they, these are. <laughs> this is all new for me. So this is an uncommon. That's wonder thought you would find anything as like a level four uncommon, but that's really sweet. When first impact is placed on your battle zone during this member's attack, this member gains three thousand power. Cool. And then you can pay three for its luck drive. This member gains four thousand power. Then choose all of your red members and they gain auto when this member destroys an opponent's gate and the top card from... Okay, I'm reading this wrong. Put the top card from your opponent's stock into their drop zone. Okay, cool. So I was reading that slightly wrong. Oh, so this is Tamaki. Oh, I liked the artwork of Tamaki. reminded me a little bit of uh, Pacifica. And I've seen the swimsuit version of her as well for a Japanese set, which is going to be an extra booster. When this member enters the field, if you have two or more yellow cards in your level, choose an opponent's member and it gains continuous. This member can't move to another circle during your opponent's next turn. That's cool. Look, drive, pay three, draw a card. This member gains 3,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So that's pretty wicked. 
Is that uncommon as well? Yeah, it's an uncommon as well. And then we have this is actually, what rarity is this? It's a rare, so this is just a normal rare. So I know Chloe is quite one of the favorites because she is quite beasty, hence the pun a little bit. Um, my friend loves her to pieces and she has Covent. If you mobilize a Chloe transunion and you have four or more cards in your level zone, put the top card from your deck into your stock zone and that member gains 2,000 power. So that's pretty nice for it. If you're building Chloe, that's a really good one. And then we have a Paradox card. So you must get one of these every pack as well. All of your members gain an aura and when this paradox is placed on your battle zone, your me blue member in battle gains 2,000 power. Cool. So it, this does look really interesting to play. I'm not sure how interesting it, it is until I play a proper game. So hopefully I can get some games for the channel. So we've got a tactics card. Pay one when this is placed into the battle zone from your hand. Choose a member. And if it's yellow, you may pay the cost. If you do, that member gains plus two aura. So that's really cool. And when this member wins a battle, choose a card in your opponent's level zone and rest it. Oh, that's a bit mean. That's good in yellow. I imagine that's going to be really good. Oh, we've got Quitsy again. When this member attacks or defends if the battle opponent is on an adjacent circle, this gets 2,000 power. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, oh, this is, is this a rare? This is shiny uncommon. Did I miss something in the last pack? Okay, cool. Uh, she has the Covent, she's Valkyria. And if you mobilize a Chloe, so this is if you mobilize a Chloe as well. That unit gets a thousand power until the end of your opponent's turn, so that's cool. And we have a mana. I think this comes in the trial deck. Oh, no, it doesn't actually. When a Stardust ar Archery is placed in the battle zone, this member gets draw a card and discard a card. That's cool. So you just have to place it. That's really good. I like that. And look drive three, this member gains 3000 power. And when this member attacks, if its battle opponent is on an adjacent circle, Choose a card in your opponent's level and rest it. Cool. I like that as well. Another you cry. You cry. So this member get look drive, pay three. This member gets 3,000 power until end of turn. If you have two or more level four or higher cards in your level zone, this member gets 6,000 power. That's, that's pretty nice. Whoa. I didn't know they went to five. I didn't know TransUnions went to five. Uh, who is this guy? Covers four circles, four gates. Okay, this is different. I thought they only went up to four. Um, so auto, discard, and Ol Olga, Olga from your hand. At the beginning of your end phase, you may pay the cost. If you do this mem, put this member into your drop zone. Okay, when this member wins a battle with while attacking, put the top two cards from your deck into stock. And he's got a once per turn effect. Discard an Olga, or is this a woman? That might be a woman. Uh, discard an Olga at the beginning of the end of the battle step that this member attacked. You may pay the cost if you do stun this member. Oh, that's mean. No wonder that's one's better. And a normal paradox. That's a rare. I don't know how rarities work. So this is, looks like a generic one. All your members get aura. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Look and Logic does look really good. Um, I do want to get a couple of games to the channel. So I hope this wasn't too boring of a video of me just reading out the cards. And I hope it helps people look at it a bit more. I think this looks really interesting in terms of defending, attacking setting up for your opponent's turn as well so anyway guys if you liked this video 
like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Until next time, guys, see you later. Mm -hmm.